Hi, I'm Joe with Family Handyman. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a cord chewed by your pet. Let's get started. There's a couple ways we can fix this cord. If the damage is close to the plug, simply cut the plug and replace it with a new plug. Before we get to replacing this plug, you want to determine what the neutral wire is on your plug, and that's usually the wider blade of the plug. The cord either has a white strip or it's ribbed on the side. First thing you want to do is cut the chewed section and the plug off the wire. Then separate the two wires about an inch and a half down. Then you want to strip the wires using a wire strippers. Twist the ends of the wire so they're no longer frayed. Then make a loop on each wire by wrapping it around a screwdriver. Loosen the screws on the blade and loop the wire around the plug. It's very important to remember the polarity is correct on the wire and the blade and tighten it. That was pretty easy. Now if the damage on your cord is closer to your appliance, first thing you want to do is cut the chewed section out of the cord using a wire cutters. Then slip a four inch tube of hinge heat shrink over one wire. Separate the wires with about two inches down then strip about an inch off each wire using a wire strippers. Twist the ends of the wire so they're no longer frayed. To splice my wire together, I'm gonna to use this solder seal wire connector. You slip it over the wire, and it has the solder right in the middle of the heat shrink tube. You apply heat to it, and it'll solder your wire for you. Slip a solder seal wire connector over one of the wires, and then twist the wires together. Move the connector to the middle of the wire with the solder ring over the wire. Heat it using a heat gun. Rotate the connector as you apply heat evenly. Repeat this procedure on the other wire. There it is, splice complete. And if you don't have heat shrink tube, you can always use electrical tape to seal up those connectors. For other electrical questions like this, visit us at familyhandyman.com.